Yeah, I could smoke down about four or five of those puppies for sure. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good drink right there. What's up guys, Cole Custer here. So we're here for the first installment of Cocktails with Cole. So I'm personally pretty pumped. I just get to go around drinking cocktails all day. So pretty much dream job for me. Um, but we're gonna be going all over, showing you guys how to drink Dixie Vodka and uh, all the different towns that we're gonna go to. So um, we're starting out here at the Windjammer in Charleston. Uh, Dixie Vodka has a lot of Southern roots, so it fits perfect. And we're gonna show you guys what we can make. So we have made it inside the Windjammer and we have one of the finest bartenders in Charleston, T. He's gonna teach us how to make some drinks and he's gonna tell us a little bit about Charleston. So first question I got is, I mean, what makes Charleston special? I've never, I've never been here before. This is my first time. So what do you think makes Charleston special? What do you look for? I think it's the people. Cause like when I came here personally, I noticed that the people were very like laid back, chill. And one of the biggest things I've noticed is no one really works. It feels like everyone's on vacation. Yeah. So like when you're not working all the time, I guess you have time to be chill. So you can go to beaches, you can get good drinks, you can get good food, but also do the fact that it's like a hospitality driven town. I feel like the people really do care around here yeah. and they take their jobs a little bit more serious. So like when you go somewhere to like meet someone, they're actually going to take the time to like show you around, show you what's going on because it's a hospitality driven yeah. town. They got the Southern house hospitality, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, second question I got for you is what do you look for when you're making a cocktail? What's the one thing that's gonna make it, you know, take it over the top? So I think a lot of it is the story. So without the story, it's just a drink. Like a vodka soda, has no story, very simple, nothing much going on. But if you wanna make something that's like truly gonna have a memory with it, you're gonna tell a story like why you picked these ingredients, why you did what you did, how does this make you feel? Cause you wanna have people like thinking like, word, I had that drink, I got these notes from it. I can relate that to this way cool, that's dope. And then they go home and they're like asking for similar things or they're looking for similar experiences to try to get that same thing out yeah. of the drink. All right, so rumor going around the bar at the Windjammer is the Charleston Mule. They say that's a drink to get. Uh, can you make me one? And also what is the story behind it? Yes, I can do both. So the Charleston Mule is based around all the techniques that make Charleston, Charleston. So Charleston is a culinary destination known for its first class restaurants, its heirloom produce, fresh seafood, Dope chefs, obviously the cocktails and the spirits that we have here. Of course. So we're starting out with Dixie Vodka, which you should know about. Mm -hmm. It's going to be made right outside Charleston and Ladson. It's going to be six time distilled, non-GMO grain, gluten-free, and also the official sponsor of NASCAR. Yeah, heavy on the vodka. Heavy, heavy on the vodka, got you, <laughs> heavy as it gets. <laughs> then we're going to some fresh and local basil. Chefs are going to use Getting this. Getting fancy with it. Yeah, chefs are going to use this to give it the herbaceous note and it had a pop of color, flavor. Make it almost kind of healthy. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, it's, we just gotta think that we're healthy. At least yeah, for sure. <laughs> gonna muddle that up. Then what I have here is a honey syrup made from local honey at Savannah Bee Company. So that we actually like have a beehive thing, whatever it's called, beekeepers. Sure, in sure. Charleston, they like make their own honey. Super dope, super sweet, super light. We're gonna add a little bit of citrus. Ooh. If I can get it in there. <laughs> Give it a shake. Favorite part. I'm gonna double strain so we don't get any basil in there. Don't want the leaves in the vodka. No. Want to be nice and clean without that green stuff in your mm -hmm. teeth. Now for the icing. Icing so, on top. Yes, for the icing, we're going to use Cannonboro Soda Company's oh, yeah. ginger beer. It's actually locally owned and produced. It's going to have a little bit of spice in the ginger, and then that's going to get rounded up by clove and vanilla. What are you doing there? I've never seen that before. So we're charging the bubbles by pouring it down the spoon and see how they're bubbling up at the very end. And then every chef knows that the garnish is the most important part. So what I have here is a macaroon from Christoph Artisan Chocolatier, locally owned downtown. So you can either <laughs> eat it before or after, dunk in between. The choice is yours. I'm a huge sweets guy, so that's gonna be that's gonna put it okay. over the top of me. There you go. Cheers. 
All right, let's try this thing. <laughs> yeah, I could smoke down about four or five of those puppies for sure. <laughs> that's uh, that's a that. good drink right there. <laughs> you, I need you to get try. a bit of Charleston in every sip. I, I'm tasting Charleston in this in this drink. That's good. That's what we're going for. <laughs> I'm going to put a macaroon in every single drink I make now. <laughs> All right, so I'm coming back here to the Windjammer. And I'm going to drink the Charleston Mule. I'm going to get the Dixie Vodka. I'm going to have tea as my bartender. But until next time, cocktails with Cole. Cheers, y'all. Mm -hmm.